Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel NetDev. Today we are going to work on how to hide or show elements on the click of a button. So in order to do this, what I have done is created a HTML file inside this folder called hide and show with the JavaScript and CSS folder. In the CSS folder, I've got a styles.css file that will contain the CSS for the HTML file and then we have got a hide and show JavaScript page for inside the JavaScript folder that will look after all the JavaScript. So this is the code for the HTML file. We have got a button for clicking uh, which will hide and show the element and the element to be hidden or shown is this one, this deep container over here with the ID of element to work on. So this one will be hidden or shown on the click of this button over here. So the styles for this container is as this. And then let's see how it looks in the browser. I'm going to run this in the browser now. What was the name of the folder? Hide and so. Okay, I made a mistake there. Always be careful with the name when you type. So yeah. So this is how it looks in the browser. Let me minimize this one as well. So that's the button over here, so or hide. And then on this, on clicking this, we are going to either hide or so. So one time when we click, this is going to hide. And one time when we click, this is going to appear. So that's what we are going to do with this JavaScript code. So in order to do this, uh, let's first of all, let's hide this container over here. by giving the CSS property display and the value non to this element. So now this one is hidden. Now what we are going to do is when we click on this, this is going to appear. So we are going to make that happen now. So in order to do that, do that let's create a variable and give this a name, anything you want. I'll give this name div container and then uh, in this variable, I'm going to assign the div tag by getting access to it with the ID. So what this does is, so we, with this code over here, what we are doing is selecting this container over here and then assigning the value to this variable over here. Assigning this container, this div tag to this variable over here. Now, let's create a function. So this function will trigger the functionality of hiding or showing the button, showing the container. So, so let's give this a name of show or hide. And what we are going to do in this one is, as this is a function, let's write the function tag. If you know ES6, then you can use the arrow function as well. But since uh, I'm targeting beginners, I'm going to use this. So now let's do, let's work on the variable above. So what we are going to do in order to display that container is change the display to block so with this code what happens is when the button is clicked this previous property css property that displays to none will be replaced by displays to block and then the deep tag will appear here and for in order for this to happen let's create a link to this javascript file otherwise we won't be able to use the functionality of javascript 
so let's keep this at the bottom of the page that's done now on the bottom i am going to assign this function on click equals to so or hide so now we have got access to this function over here so when we click this button this function will be triggered so or hide yeah that's right now let's save this file and now let's see if everything is working or not yeah that's working so now we have successfully displayed the container over here but we still haven't been able to hide it i am clicking the button but it's not being hidden so for this what i am going to do is uh, create a variable called is clicked and then assign this uh, value of boolean value of true so now what am i going to do is create a variable over here to use a if function over here and then going to write if is clicked if this is true then what we are going to do is display this container and make it block so that it will appear and when this is true what is going to happen is the value of each clicked is going to be false so now when this is false what we are going to do is again change the display of this container to none and then change it back to true so now what this will do is when we click it this will appear and then the value of is clicked will be changed to false so now when this is false when we click this this is going to hide and then now the value of is clicked has gone to true so now again when we click it this will appear when we click it this will hide so now we have successfully shown or hidden this container so this is how you can show or hide the container based on clicking your button with javascript thank you for watching this video and if you have liked this video then please click the like button if you want to share it with your friend then please go ahead and share it and then if you uh, would like to support me then you can subscribe to this button and comment as well thank you so much for watching this video